It's all on save, but he has no Aether. Look how short the Fiend's Grip is. Oh my god, Matu. Oh, there he is! Oh, they need this fiend script, but no, oh, this man. time they've got the follow-up, and RP comes through, big damage from the sky, and now Matu ready to clean house. It's just the DP left, she gets nullified, that Yule Scepter that was Yule's. that little bump you saw there, and it was completely mitigated. Dunzo, see you later, epileptic, uh, epileptic, ugh, epileptic kid. That's embarrassing and ironic. No buyback, <laughs> nor does Bane have one. Well, a little bit of poking, a little bit of prodding, a horn, a false promise, but no real climax here. Although I say that they jump forward here onto Boxy. Boxy's losing his life and he is down for the count. They're trying to get themselves out on Liquid. They realize that fighting is going to be kind of difficult, especially with Ace inside that But now the BKB ends and now the damage comes in. Ace in some trouble. They've got the critical bring on Tim as well. There's nothing to save him. He's dead. And now they look towards Misery as well. Misery just about getting off that supernova. Should be trying to fight this. Can't they kill off the supernova? They're trying. They're hitting. But the design. Oh, oh my god. Pilot died. Gets knocked just from the sideline. Is it enough to actually bring down Mickey though? I think he's in some real trouble here. They've got surrounded they've got intense to run oh my goodness five men just in time pilot i mean he might have made wow. a couple of mistakes in this game but that was a godly disarm just wants to run himself away from these lions heroes yes yeah, not the smoke potential, but FNG, he's coming in around the back. Oh, uh, hands get just going. Oh, the three-man cogs. That's pretty what damn good. With the fast on top of them as well. They're melting inside that oven as it gets switched on and burnt down. Three heroes dead on the side of OG straight away. No tail going to join his comrades in the grave. What oh, was no. that fight? It was over before it started. The three-man cogs from Hanskin. They're going to go to the top bounty, possibly, to try and cut off OG. Oh, I think Seb. No, he only, he only popped the one smoke, actually. He only popped limbs. FNG's now popped as well. No tail. He's in the tree lines, but the hookshot comes through. He actually blocks it. They were trying to go for Seb, but he blocks the hookshot onto him. But the si Omni Sash is coming through onto Seb. He's taken out. The biggest hero is in the grave already. He does have a buyback. Should he want to use it? I don't think he will. Meanwhile, in the middle of the fight, a lot of heroes taking damage. Handskin as well. Jumped on by Saxon. He's actually trying to finish the goal, but meanwhile, Nico Baby is going to town onto No Tail. Trying to finish the job. The fight is split. Family in three right now. As No Tail does go down to Nico Baby. The Omni uh, sorry, the Juggernaut brings him down. Mid one drops as well. Hanskin finally finished off by Saxa. And now he needs to get himself up. But he is able to do exactly that. Rolls himself up to the high ground. Meanwhile, Nico Baby's waiting for him. What's this guy doing here? He's under the tier fours. Nico Baby, there's no stopping this dude. He's next to the Ancient taking down Socks. He wants them all. He wants the ultra kill. And he's going to get him. Down goes Jakiro. Five heroes down the side of OG. We complete their next item. I think he's like go behind Hanskin, goes deep onto Soxer as he tries to go for the D-Ward here. Soxer de desperately trying to get off a spell, but he cannot do anything. He's going to get destroyed by the battery assault. No tail has to take that root off himself with the aphotic shield. Meanwhile, Seb TP's in just to slow down the jug, but jug, look at him go. Omni Slash comes down. <laughs> I've popped the bar in time, but it's rounding mostly onto Seb. Seb's still alive for the time being, but I've got a feeling it won't be much longer than Manta Please. takes off the damage, and down they go. Seb and No Tail both cut down. Nico, baby, once again, he fears nothing. No man, no tower, nothing at all. He feels immortal this game. And now Saxa in the back lines. He's trying to roll himself away, but unfortunately, you can't roll yourself away from this. Another hero dead, and this Radiant's should be it. The final inner barracks now being besieged by the side of Alliance. Alliance thinking of doing the same thing as well, though. Mid one running himself in. He's got himself a prono in 13 seconds. They can keep this fight going long enough. Maybe they can find something off it. But meanwhile, oh, as for it, he can be and down and faces void. Let's get caught inside that silence. He's running himself forward. He is not stopping either. Limp is going to be the target for now. Meanwhile, Handskin, he's got himself the time walk, so a pretty tricky hero to bring down as he pops out Magnetize, but doesn't actually connect onto Handskin. Meanwhile, oh, a nice purge comes in from No Tail, kicking back Handskin as well. Meanwhile, oh, mid one drops a Chrono onto Void Spirit, but just straight up dies in it. Oh dear, that's not the play. Meanwhile, Handskin, he goes down FNG, though they want to get on top of this basis void right now. He's got no Aegis. Maybe they can kill him off. There's also no ultimate on the side of No Tail, but they're holding a steady line hero G. They're not going to let them jump forwards and run them down that easily, but maybe they should as Limp jumps in, penetrates deep here as FNG said, trying to get itself back, but FNG is dead. Meanwhile, no tell, he's struggling, trying to find his way around this fight. They're chasing it down Socks, though, with a nice ice path, holding three of them still. That is actually wow. going to turn things around for them a little bit. Nico Baby losing his health, mid one, they get the kill. Nico Baby's dead, and I'll move across towards Limp as well. He gets ice path up, beaten on down in all directions. Oh, gee, oh, he's long. actually turned this fight around on the back of that three-man ice path from Socks. He has not been able to get another item for some time now, actually, ever since he Complete that blast one. 
Chrono onto two. Oh, That's a Chrono. nice one. And now the follow up damage is coming through, but the stolen Chrono Hanskin. landing it down in the back lines. Hands can stop up the follow up damage, but they've already lost S4. Meanwhile, Ice Path cuts on across onto two. Actually, stolen by Nico Baby. It's Moonwatch saved just in time by No Tail. Now, dashing out the heels. Nico Baby could be in some real trouble. Can they finish the job? Yes, they can. Saxo finds him. Yules out onto the CM to stop the TP away. Three dead. Make it four on the side of Alliance. OG come barreling out of Roshan. And they bring down so many heroes along with yeah, them. Yeah, the pit into the Atos. Yeah. I've seen this Atos build completely flub on Underlord in some games too, where they still just play a little bit too passive, but he was always like being present in the lanes and uh, forcing aggression onto the opponents. Yeah, and in that mid roll, like he farms those camps so quickly that he can still benefit from being dire side mid. We'll see initiation into base, the toss back, disruption helps Foxy, but is it actually going to be enough for the turn? Juggernaut gets off the Omni Slash and finds a double. Foxy and Insania sideline. Foxy back in those, he pops the buyback, a 4v5 to make this hold at the top barracks. The Lycan maybe looking for a backstab, but Taiga and Mike taking big damage. They need this Lycan to get in here. He finally joins. Is it going to be enough, though? FNG goes down. Foxy and Koikba moving fast, hitting hard. Nico Baby low, but still alive. Gets the bash, gets the kill, and Koikba gets put to rest. All five sidelined without buyback, and there it is, your GG. Almost being the keyword. Oh. I don't think they want to glyph, though. Okay, it's actually going to die. All right. They're spread out, though. This could be scary. Nico Baby has to BKB Chrono. Goes in on the Taiga. This will be one kill. But I think Liquid's got to be fairly happy with that. You're kind of breaking up this Aegis timing. You force a Chrono just for your position four. And they can see uh, Mickey up top on that ward, too. So they know that uh, VP Prodigy kind of need to do something about this. Let's see what the plan is. They do have buyback on the Bloodseeker, but it's going to go down so quickly Here's with the bench here. Yeah, they're going for it. Big RP, GBK possibly. has the blink. It could be. There's two heroes which they could really use inside the pit right now. The illusion just going to give things away. Oh, wait, what the, the split? Oh, that's actually done. Just save, but it doesn't matter. The RP comes through along with the supernova as well. Oh my goodness, it's too much damage. They've lost our men and we straight off the bat. And Miracle's going to go the same way as well. It didn't matter that the Phoenix got caught out there by the split earth, which is just downright unfortunate. They still get off the RP. GPK gets a huge RP. And with the supernova coming down as well, Epilepsy gets Just able to getting into his own wall around the other side of it. Yeah. Very annoying. So Smoke back up to top. They feel like Dyer's Nigma would try to top. get out of Sunday containment, attack. running top. Ooh, miracle. Oh, Miracle. A little bit off the, the mark without hunted. silence. So the Abyssal Blade is there from another kid, but he doesn't want to use it. He's actually going to go back and look for the Venge instead, get the easy kill, and Venge being down is a pretty big deal. For Nick. Well, up he actually comes down on from the high ground here. GPK, he's going in deep and he fishes out the right target. Miracle dragged out of position. Can they finish the job? Supernova in the back line, right in front of Wee, but meanwhile, Mail Control and GH are just getting run down. They're both gonna lose their lives. Supernova comes crashing down. VPP with the big PP plays as they take down all five of Nigma and now they're up onto the high ground, pushing up the base. That's gotta hurt. A little bit rusty on the old Wind Ranger here, perhaps. Uh, but they're oh, going to the steal a stack at least. Stack. Look at this. Oh, four stack. Mm. It's a four stack. Mm, delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Man's Iron Man getting the piece of it. We have a little power <laughs> shot. Uh, DM just watching. He's running in circles. No, please stop. <laughs> Even my control dies down to the bottom lane. This DM comes in. He's got the RP onto three. GPK follows up with a boat. One's going to die. They actually managed to get away the time walk for Miracle, but we and Iron Man lose their lives. The punishment is big. You take our stacks. We take your lives. <laughs> exactly. I've been seeing it quite a lot lately. Yeah, he is a uh, special anti mage player, that's for sure. Three man stomp. Where's the follow up? Well, GPK are throwing in the boat. Magic to get the turret onto two, and down they <laughs> wow. go. Position absolutely perfectly from GPK oh and getting the God. triple kill with the tiebringer as well. This man is on fire, and he is just chopping down Nigma heroes left, right, and center. Goodness gracious me. Uh, you can't actually be able to solo kill anybody, but at the same time, Without the BKB, you're the one getting killed off in all the engagements. Look at Honas on Miracle. Play. They're just going straight in, but the Abyssal Blade oh, comes wow. down on Tim. The RP on to three! RP. Oh no, it's an absolute chaos in the pit for Nigma. They lose three straight off the bat. What are you doing, boys? This isn't how you do it. Supernova comes out from GH in the back lines. The two heroes just smack it away at that little egg. They'll crack it open. Oh, no. They'll make themselves some eggs, and that'll be their snack to take down Roshan with. The epileptic Kid, he's such a beast right now. He's got a Scotty. A lot of stats on his hero. Yeah.
Guardi Aegis. There's a beautiful combo and he jumps the Leshak on the back lines. Iron Man stands no chance of surviving this engagement. Now an RP onto two. Catch them out. Skewer all the way back. They've got mind control at the very least. Chrono Fear comes down for a miracle. Mind control still alive for the time being. They don't have the damage though. He's actually just disarmed inside the Chrono from the Conquer. And now the Yules is up onto the Lena. Lena in some trouble. Maybe she will die. Gets up on the say Anna's Laguna just before she goes down. Nicely done. Just throwing out her spells. Meanwhile, I've let bye it might be in a little bit too deep. A bye bye from mind control. He jumps back into the equation. Mage just gets popped from the anti mage. Now, where's the rest of the team? DPP, are they winning? They have no RP. They don't really have much. And the focus fire's coming through. Oh, the anti mage, anti mage. He might just Cheese. die. But no. Cheese comes out. Damage comes in. Miracle's actually the one who ends up dying here. And Epilepsy Kid just blinks himself away. There's nothing even happened. Mind control still in some trouble there. They might not be done. BPP, they're still going in. Beautiful torrent catches out. Wee Wee is dead as well. 75 seconds. This might be the end of the game for Nigma. They have just thrown too much onto the fire, which wow. is now burning brightly. Let's see if they've got another fight left in them, five men. But all this time, look at this Lunar Illusion just doing so much damage to their barracks. Lace finally realizes that we need to bring this guy down. And meanwhile, the tree body landing onto three and with the chaotic offering as well, they're able to take down one. Sox has lost his life, but Ace in some trouble. He has got that age. Remember, with the four staff away, it's going like, to keep alive a little bit longer. Chessy, he could be in some trouble. Has to pop the cheese. Meanwhile, Sax is on top of him. Cheese isn't going to do him much. He's still going to leave that in the three man chrono from mid one as well. And the quote, oh, the back in the lunar as well. Ace, she's in trouble. Does manage to get off the glim cape just before he dies. Misery with the kick away with the roll up, but no one's run to buy Sax right now. Misery into the hands of No Tail. No Tail can he finish the job meanwhile? Mid one actually finds a Luna. Both the Misery and the Luna's Aegis will fall, and with just a Luna and a Warlock, it's not going to happen for five men in this game, number one, I don't think, as oh, Aegis is getting cooked up good and proper, and the GGs are dropped. It's going to be game number one. I'm a little nervous, Trent. It's another one of these games where, oh, like, they kill though. Stop. Have to do some heavy lifting. B2 oh, mid. Was sick. That was oh. sick. Oh, nice, no. nice path. Oh, he's on a fly! Beautiful ultimate! It saves the Slark for now, but does he possibly oh, have enough healing to stop the pop? He does. Oh, Slark pops the man. ultimate. There's the regen. He's good. That hurts. That hurts so wow. much. Wow. But Elias are the first ones to get a middle tier one tower, but now there's pings desperately coming out of the middle lane. Team Secret, they want to return the favor here and take the middle tower themselves. Are they going to be successful in doing so, though? In comes a leash. Oh, in comes dooms. a double doom from them. That's pretty damn good. But meanwhile, Science actually comes through onto the Venomancer, stopping him from getting up Huge. the follow ups. Poison Nova and Puppy even combining the RP to stop that happening. But it doesn't matter. Matu and Nisha have already fallen. A beautiful combo from the Alliance as they take down Puppy as well, making it a triple kill for Nico Baby. They defend that tower and a little bit of a cherry on top as well there as they take down three. Either right. got dewarded or expired. Zion Yapsaw. The duo looking in towards mid. They have a feeling that Alliance are going to try and make the exact same play again, and they're absolutely right. They're trying to bring down this bench, but meanwhile, they're wrapping around from the side. The slam comes down wow. from Yapsaw, landing onto three, throwing the Wukong's command as well. And, and they the are just one. melting the wind and the Oracle already tapping out of the equation. s has got to fall, and that is going to be four heroes dead. Secret with a beautiful setup, a beautiful prediction, and that's going to be four kills on the board for them. And guess where they're going? You get no bonus points for getting this one right. Quite good to tank yourself up. How's the Sven looking? Wow, Blink Dagger. Okay, that's the poor man's agonims right there. <laughs> that is, isn't it? That is a very much a poor man's ag this game around. And he pulls a God Strength. They're looking to go for something here. The Doe is going to be onto the Monkey King, but Monkey King with the Lotus Orb actually reflects the stun back onto the Sven. And now he's in a real pickle. He's trying to run himself out. Meanwhile, that's who comes out onto FNG, bringing him down, and the slam comes in from Yapsaw. Wow. On two, three. Well, they will take down the back lines onto Handskin Limp, trying to do something, but he's going to get killed off eventually here, I believe. A right click from Puppy will do the job and it looks like alliance are going to be in a real sticky situation here as s is going to get run down by nisha and yapsor as well here they are on top of him and he will die that's going to be four heroes dead on the side of alliance it's not something the morphling wants to think about to be honest gpk it might be seen the hookshot comes through they found him four star forward actually here as he goes what? in for the electric vortex onto two heroes didn't keep him locked down at all one of those kisses coming on over the top as well roger's actually going to be the first one to lose his life meanwhile athletic and he's trying to find a bit of the drought that's just not going to work for him he's dead no buyback storm in Inside Mortimer, get out of here, Storm! But unfortunately, they've lost <laughs> so much already. Storm might just stick away to the... No, he is healthy enough to survive through that. But still, I mean, a cataclysmic fight for that is... <laughs> they, they just don't want to fight without RP, on. though. It's, it's really awkward, but... Alliance aren't giving them much of a choice. DM... Oh, goes... Gets a two-man skewer, and actually... Oh, they caught him with the Life Strike Array mid-skewer! That was cute by Lil. 
And now, well, they try to follow up here on Snicker Baby. Nicker Baby blinks himself away, but without their Ember Spirit, it's such a hard fight. FNG, though, he's actually caught behind, and that's going to be an easy kill for Epileptic Kid to casually get inside. But they want Nicker Baby. They want the big baby. And now, with the Reaper side, they're going to wow. get him dead for 80 seconds. It comes flying back in the other direction as S4 gets the TP away. Lil can't stop him. One second left on his Yules as he makes his way out. Afraid to uh, be a little bit more in the front as Handskin actually jumps forward onto DM. DM was actually the one who blinked in here, trying to look for a target as the Shackle comes down to two. They're going to have to drop the save onto DM, but that's going to allow him to get off the RP onto three. They're on top of them as well. Where's the follow-up damage, though? They're going to be able to take down two. Maybe S4 still surviving, but the Reaper's side going to take down Nico, baby. DM gets it big. As they look in towards the Ember Spirit as well, Limp trying to blink himself away, but actually Anti-Mage isn't actually that healthy. He needs to stay away from Limp, if anything, but uh, no, he doesn't. He's going to finish him off and get the kill. Fortune Zen, follow it up as well. Beautifully done. In some ways, like, waiting to farm things out isn't that terrifying. In some ways, but we'll see initiation on the puppy. It looks like they do want to fight, and they will get the Vengeful Spirit. Nisha, though, on the low ground. It's a great Chrono on three. Skyrath made Dolt comes in, but Nisha gets stuck inside of the Chrono. Now the RP yep. catches him, and this is Meep Meep Prodigy's fight. They found three. Zai on the run. He might live, but it's a bit of a disaster. They lose only supports and take down two big cores in the TA and the Void.